Welcome aboard the BioTrain. In this video, we're going to talk about DNA and DNA structure. DNA is a polymer, which means it is made up of repeating units called monomers. The monomer that makes up DNA is called a nucleotide. These are the parts that make up a DNA nucleotide. You have a phosphate, a deoxyribose sugar, and one of four bases, adenine, thymine, guanine, or cytosine. As you can notice, the bases are cut to fit each other. That's because when we get into this structure, we'll see that the base adenine always pairs with the base thymine and the base guanine always pairs with the base cytosine. So let's look at the structure of a DNA nucleotide. The phosphate is attached to the deoxyribose sugar and then one of the four bases is attached to the sugar as well. So there are four different types of nucleotides that you can have. You can have a nucleotide with a thymine base, you can have a nucleotide with a guanine, you can have a nucleotide with an adenine, or you can have a nucleotide with a cytosine. So now we need to learn how these nucleotides bond together to make the double-stranded molecule DNA. As you can see from these coated nucleotides, there's a square on the top of the phosphate and also a square on the deoxyribose. That's because the phosphate covalently bonds to the deoxyribose sugar. And you'll see there's another place to bond another nucleotide, and there's another place to bond another nucleotide, and another place up here to bond a nucleotide. And you'll very quickly see that you can repeat this process as many times as necessary. And you end up with a single strand of DNA with a sugar phosphate, sugar phosphate, sugar phosphate backbone with the bases coming off of the deoxyribose sugar on the one side. So this makes up one strand of DNA, but DNA is a double stranded molecule. So let's look at another example. So here's a single strand of DNA. We have actually one of each type of base, but these bases can be in any order. They don't have to be in a specific order. So how do we build this next side? Well, you can build a second strand of DNA that runs in the opposite direction by putting together nucleotides that are complementary to the nucleotides in the existing strand. So in this case, we have a thymine on this side. So on this side, we would put a nucleotide with an adenine base. On this side, we have a cytosine. So over here, the second strand would have a nucleotide with a guanine base. We have a guanine, so we would have a nucleotide with a cytosine base. And the last one, we have an adenine. So we would have a nucleotide with a thymine base. So this just represents a very short, small piece of DNA. Remember, DNA is a polymer, and you can attach the nucleotides together to make any length of DNA that is necessary. And human chromosomes are made of millions of nucleotides attached together to make that huge macromolecule. So now let's talk about how the structure of DNA helps it to do its specific functions. The nucleotides are covalently bonded together, but the bases in the middle are not covalently bonded. They are held together with weak hydrogen bonds. And this is important because it allows the molecule to unzip, exposing the bases in the middle because these bases are where the genetic code is stored, where the genes are, where the information to make the proteins is in these sequence of bases. So the molecule needs to be able to unzip 
so that the genetic information can be accessed. The other reason that the molecule needs to be able to unzip is that when it unzips, each existing strand becomes a template to make another strand. So this allows the DNA molecule to be easily replicated. So DNA replication occurs by the strand unzipping and then new nucleotides are brought in and match up with the existing nucleotides. The existing strand is used to make a new strand. These strands are genetically identical. They're exact copies of each other. Now I have two identical copies of the original double-stranded DNA that I started with. It was accomplished by the DNA unzipping and each existing strand being used as a template to construct a new strand. And if you'll notice, you have thymine adenine here, thymine adenine there. Cytosine guanine, cytosine guanine, guanine cytosine, guanine cytosine. These are both exact copies of each other. And this is important because your cells, every time your cells divide, the DNA has to be replicated so that each new daughter cell has a full copy, an exact copy of your DNA. I hope that helps you stay comfortably seated on the bio train.